What's the deal, man? It's your boy Austin. It's Heat Makers in the building. You already know what it is, man. I'm chilling with my homeboy, Mikey T, the movie star. Report card radio. You know what it is, man. Let me ask you, man. What do you most remember about Jewels? Really is energy, man. Like, Jewels is just, like, being in the studio with Jewels is dope to me because he still gets excited, like, the first day I met him. And I'll, if I play him something that's crazy and he likes it, you can still see the look in his eye that, you know what I mean? That almost like that love for music. And I just think that's dope because a lot of artists lose that, they lose that look and that hunger because they're just in a, they, they in a too comfortable place. And I think Jewels kind of realizes or figured out that, he still hasn't hit his maximum potential yet. Well, in my eyes, you know what I mean? I feel like there's another level that Jewels hasn't gotten to yet that he's due to get to. And I think the look in his eyes is kind of like what I appreciate because it's like I know that he's still hungry for music. But what type of change did you notice in Jewels between his first and his second albums? Change? I just think more independence. He, from his first to his second album, he got his own studio his his process of working became different because again he had his own studio so he could work 24 7 if he wanted to he could he could just sit in the room and listen to beats all day if he wanted to like however he wanted to work he was able to work with the second with the second album and i think you can hear it it's more him as far not saying he didn't pick his music on his first one which he did but i think the second one he was more comfortable he could experiment with different records and you can just i think you can just hear the difference but Independence, if I had to say anything, that's what changed. He became more independent from his first album to his second album. Um, what could you tell me about the collaboration album, I Can't Feel My Face with Jewels and Lil Wayne? I mean, from the songs that I heard and the, the ones that I did, I just, I just know it was dope. It was dope. I don't know why, you know, I don't know what happened on the business side, why it never came out. So I can't speak on that. But from what I heard, it was dope. So speaking on the music side of things, you know, the production side of things, arson, arsonist, what would what would you say it was about Wayne and Jewel's that clicked musically? Again, I think both of their love for music. And at the time when they started working on that project, you got to remember where both of their careers was at. Wayne wasn't the Wayne he is now. And Jewel's was kind of like at that, that spot right before stardom. Like he was... I think he had done the Chris Brown records. He was, you know, he had a nice little buzz going for himself. Wayne was still really trying to find himself as like a, his style and his, you know. So I think at the time they both realized that they could use each other. And they were friends, you know what I mean? Like they were cool with each other because they loved each other's music. And I think they realized together they would have been unstoppable. So I think, you know, again, they were two intelligent people, man. They weren't just coming together because they was cool. They realized the the hole that they had on music like at that time Joel's had a huge fan base wayne had a huge fan base but they both needed to get to the next level obviously wayne got to that next level when he did things like the carter three and and so on and so forth but they at that time they were both trying to get to the next level now you're right on the money with that arsonist you're right on the money with it man i mean i could just imagine hearing those recordings of wayne and Joel's and just because i feel like the I Can't Feel My Face album was going to be kind of like an appetizer for his third album? Or do you think it was going to be more of a third album? Who, uh, appetizer for Joel's third album? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say it was going to be an appetizer. I think it would have been its own, it would have been its own thing because everybody was looking forward to that. Like the Wayne fans wanted to hear Wayne with Joel. The Joel's fans wanted to hear Joel's with Wayne. And I just think it was something that would have opened up the door for both of them. You know what I mean? Again, like I said, Wayne took a different route and still got to that next level. But I think had they have put that out when they were supposed to put it out, it would have changed the dynamic of where music was going. You're not lying, man. I really, uh, and I don't see why Birdman and Cameron couldn't have come together and do it. It could have potentially been a Def Jam thing, though, because he was signed over at Def Jam. But yeah, that yeah, would to be honest with you, I don't think it was a situation where like anybody was blocking it from happening. That wouldn't because at some point Joel's got out his deal from from my understanding. Joel's got out his deal with Cam at some point, so he could have done it then. So I don't think it was anything that Cam held up or Birdman held up. I don't think it was I don't think it was any of that. I just think the powers that be just never happened. Yep, it's kinda like uh 
It's, it was kind of like uh, passing an exit on the highway. You get too far and you're just like, it's too far to turn back now. Right. It's like you was headed someplace and you were just going to pull off of that highway to grab your favorite burger. But you pass it and you're like, yeah, the burger's cool, but let me just get home. You know what I mean? I, it was like that. And maybe now they can double back and, and make that trip. Because, you, like I said, Wayne is already set up. Joel's is going to come home hungrier than ever. And I just think, you know, people are going to wait for music from Joel. So I, I think maybe one of his first three projects should be a project with Wayne. That would be pretty dope. 